Hey guys, so uh, we've been at this for a little bit here. I've done the exhaust side already. Uh, the first pass, I might do a second one to finish it up. Alright, so the exhaust side might get another pass. You can see here that the pitting is mostly gone. So now we're going to do the intake side, which are the larger ones. I've already labeled it, so I have one there and an eight on this side, just in case I forget. So each valve is marked. Because as you lap them, that valve will match whatever seat that you did the machining on. So that's why I have them numbered. So they always go back in the right spot. So what we got to do, we got our grinding compound. We got our oil. We're going to pre-lube, pump some oil down each of these uh, valve guides. When I throw the valve in, we're going to do a nice coating here on the valve seat with the compound. And then we're going to do the stem with some oil. Then we get our nice trick tool here, this is our suction cup. Do it on this bad boy, and you're supposed to do it by hand, but we uh, we got our fast hand today, so we'll get this going. Throw you up here so you can see what I'm doing. And we're going to bang out these eights, and we got to give it a nice wash. You want to make sure you get all the compound, compound out. Last thing you need is a bunch of that going through your engine, because that will do some of its own machining, and it's not great. So, pre-lube everything. Get the compound on, start drilling. You don't want to use a lot of pressure, especially if you're going with a drill, because uh, you will go too far and damage it, and your valves will actually not seat very well. Shocker. So these valve seats here, you can see they're not very pitted or anything. The intake is in good shape, actually. The exhaust wasn't that good, but the intake isn't terrible, so we just have to do a quick pass. Honestly, it's not necessary, but because I have no idea which valves came from which location. Uh, if I were to mix match them, there's a chance that they will not uh, seal completely all of low compression and kind of defeats the whole purpose of this. So do a quick pass on each one. I've labeled them all. So I get to clean this whole thing up after and we'll be good to go. So as we're lathering this up, you want to try not to get any compound on the stem because when this valve is in there and we're spinning it, the last thing you need is for this to start machining its way through and uh, eat the valve guide all to shit. So I try to use different fingers. I'll use this one to put on the uh, compound. Give it a quick wipe off. Make sure that the face is clean. And then we'll move on to the next step. Throw this in, oil it, and start giving her. So here we are at number eight. We want to make sure that we're putting the right valve in the right spot. Uh, it's a little more difficult with it being cold out. The suction cups are a little more stiff. They're not going to want to play nice. So I get the tip of the valve sticking in there. Run some oil down the stem. Get it started. You want to make sure that it is sliding nice. Again, give it a couple pumps. And it should sit down pretty nice there. So I have this on a lower speed, obviously. The slower the better. You don't want to dig your way right through. So as we're doing this, we want to make sure that we're pulling the valve out, and you can see what that's doing. All that's doing is it's making sure that it's uh, getting clean, fresh valve compound each time, and it's going to make sure that you don't have uh, two or three deep grooves. It'll be the equivalent of using a finer sandpaper, and it'll give you a more uniform grind. So. That's what's needed for a good seal. Once we get it done, oh, satisfying. Pull that bad boy on out. Oh yeah. And on this side, you can see it's pretty clean. All we have to do is wipe off that compound. So now again, we're gonna try and keep the uh, stem clean. We're gonna try and clean off this face here. You get a nice clean surface there. No gouges, no pitting. It's exactly what we want. Slap that down. Now we're going to want to clean this pretty good now before we put in our finished pile. While we were doing all this with the suction cup, uh, with the brake clean I used to clean it, it does wipe off the number. So, I spritz this down with brake clean. 
wipe off as much as I can. And we're going to clean out the seats in the head. Once that's done with brake clean, renumber it, put it in the finished pile, move on. Do that seven more times. Yay. Now all I'm trying to accomplish here is make sure that we're going to have some decent sealing done. So we're not machining this too much. We're just going to give it a quick kiss. Make sure that they're not going to be completely opposites when we're trying to seal these valves. So this is a quick and dirty way to do it at home. Obviously, if you have some deep uh, pitting, you might have to go a little longer. You never really want to apply too much force, especially with a drill. There is a point where you can go too far and it actually will not seal. So you want to avoid that. All we're trying to do is resurface this, not dig our way through. It's got a bit of compound on there. Uh, it's not a mirror finish, so that's why I might go another route, but I think that'll probably be good enough for what I'm doing. See some befores there. You have some pitting on the left one here. Moving on. They aren't terrible, but we do want to clean them up. More importantly, we just want to mate that valve with that seat. So, so let's bang the rest of these bad boys out. <laughs> 